Hello there and welcome back to another episode in Atrio, which I think might be the final one because there's only about a couple miss missions left until we, uh, I believe, we close out this series as well. So yeah, a couple of things I do want to mention. So previous episode was a little bit messed up. It's a really silly mistake that I made. So um, with Atrio, let me just give you a little bit of back background. With Atrio, I've uh, noticed that every time I record with uh, OBS, the file sizes are ridiculously large, so I'd say a typical 30 minute episode is about like 30 gigabytes after I've recorded it and uh, well of course the recording itself is a little bit longer than 30 minutes, it's up to like an hour usually and then I just uh, chop it down but uh, yeah so it's pretty big and I thought okay well since my laptop is uh, 1440p I decided that, well, how about I'll try and change it to 1080. And I did that, but um, I did it on the canvas and the output. But my monitor is actually 1440p, so yeah, it only recorded a sort of section of my screen, unfortunately. So I am very sorry, it was a silly mistake. I think I have fixed it for this episode, so that's good. Right, so coming into this episode, let me just uh, pop one of those batteries. We are going to try and, well not try, we're definitely going to make this water filter and it's pretty easy, but before we do that, I just want to show that I made a couple of um, changes around the space here as well. So first of all, we expanded this zone here quite a, quite a bit, so this whole section here is the new section and we added a lot more harvesters down here as well. We can still do a couple more, but I think we are quite good right now and the reason we did that is if we move oh we can't move through here is um, this section here oh yeah it's getting pretty laggy let me just zoom in a little bit it's um, this section here so we are trying to produce those blood cubes but they are not coming in quick enough yeah it seems we're taking five of each re resource over here and then every two seconds we're producing one of those blood cubes to make the uh, dehydration, what was it called? Dehydrator chips. And yeah, to uh, produce those canned foods in here. So we have all the other resources, but it's just the red or the blood ingots that don't go through quick enough. Because yeah, basically one of those needs five factories to support it. So we have one, two, three, four, five in here, seven. Okay, and then all of these ones as well we got an extra how many do we have four in here and two in here so seven six thirteen which means we can only do like two and a half yeah but it's every two seconds you produce it 12 seconds so technically we'd need a ton of those factories to produce those blood ingots it, it's fine we're just a uh, little slower on the production end over here and at some point i noticed that we weren't getting a lot of gravity ingots as well so let me just quickly run over there and uh, yeah we do have an extra line hopefully the frames pick up a bit more over here oh way better yeah so a um, couple of extra gravity ingots over here and all we had to do was just add a couple more harvesters and factories as well. Another thing I did realize was um, I just ran the numbers and we don't really need something fancy like this. You can just have a factory that produces the gravity ore and feeds directly into gravity ingot. Well, it kind of works out because this one, although it says four seconds here, once you hover over this uh, gravity ore in the uh, recipes, it's actually 3.5. So, I mean, yeah. Every four seconds we make one, you need three of them, and it takes you 12 seconds. So it sort of evens out if it was four seconds, but it's a little bit quicker. Okay, now to make this um, water filter, we are going to need... Let's have a look. Water filter, graphite, transistor. So since we can make it in our inventory, and it's not asking a lot of them, just one... So where can we get the transistor? Uh, I think you were here. Oh yeah. We are a little low on the metal as well. Scrap metal. Okay, come on. Give us one of them. Yep. Get in here. Oh, I had quite a few in my inventory it seems. Nope. That's mine. Ah, uh, you took the other one already. That's fine. Okay. Cool. And to get graphite, how do we get you? think we might have to make it in the factory. Oh no, we don't. 
All right, there we go. Water filter, lovely. Let's um, stick you in here. Three out of five. Okay. Download recipes. Let's see what do we get now. Oh, water bottle. Okay. Let me guess. You're gonna ask us to make a ton of them now, aren't you? So filter analysis, ninety-nine point six filtration level achieved. Filter is approved for producing portable potable water. Proceed to next step. Okay. Mandatory disclaimer. Employee is to prepare for power diversion upon mission completion. Oh. Look at us. We're on the final step. Halt. Power diversion was never disclosed. Oh. Okay. Data base wipe. I don't know what that is, but it sounds like a big deal. All employee data will be lost. Well, that's no good. Halt all mission progress to preserve employee. Ah, oh, that's really adorable. Wait, you don't you want to stop? Sacrificing a valued employee is not worth completing a mission with unknown purpose. Completing the mission is my purpose. Incorrect. Wow. Oh wow. Employee knows how to persevere, decorate, how to be a friend, and necessary to avoid exceeding loneliness and sadness levels. That is very adorable. Okay, we shall proceed though. So there we go, water bottle, survival back. Okay, so where is this water bottle? It's here. Water paste and the water filter. Um, <laughs> oh, a bit of a backlog here. Well, that's lovely. I'll take all of these and lovely. So now we just need a bit more graphite, it seems. Yeah, I don't think we are going to set up the automation just yet. Let's just make a couple. Okay, grab all these. And... Oh, inventory is full. Right, what can we do? Let's sort this, see if there's anything we don't need, like the blood ingot over here. And do we have a box? Yes, we have a spare box. So why don't you guys jump over there for the time being? We can make... Let's do one more. Okay, lovely. Water paste. Oh, filter. So we've got a couple of these ones as well, and uh, paste is really far away from us, so... Yep, I guess we are gonna run... Where is it? It should be somewhere... Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, let's grab... How many do we need? Let's have a look. Water bottle. Off we go, let's grab one more. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we had to drop off just one of them. I mean, I, I guess I do have a bit of a uh, OCD because all this here, every time I run through it, it just hurts my eyes. Yeah, it could be so much more organized. All right, what is this survival pack? Okay, lovely. Well, this is going very quickly. Contamination is at 0%. Water is approved for human consumption. Survival pack, yep. I have time to change our mind. We'll never give up. Alright. However, halting mission would guarantee a promotion to friend. Ooh, in my mind, we are already friends. And besides, I was never meant to live more than 14 minutes. Hanging out with you has just been a bonus. Oh, wow. Okay, a bit of a fight here. Okay, here we go. As always, struggling is futile. Our designers are cruel. Don't worry, we'll be able to talk before the power diversion, right? Correct. Will I also be able to say goodbye to the other friends I've made? Inquiring. Goodbyes are not necessary if employee chooses to hold mission. Station 2 has accepted a request for conversation. Come visit me, I'd like to speak with you before you complete your mission, Bunk Monk. Don't go. We'll talk again before I finish the mission. It will be alright. I promise. Ooh, okay, 15 of those survival packs. What do we need? Oh, hey. Oh, you can right click on those. Interesting. So does this uh, sort of save like a little preview for us? I wonder. So we're gonna need quite a few water filters, meal kits. I think we are fine. I believe so. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we got tons of this. Yeah, all we need to grab now. Is this the last one, really? A couple of you ones. Uh, we need the transistors as well. Oh, let's get all of them. I don't think we're going to have enough yet. 22. We need 15 of them, and you require... Wait a second. 
three water bottles. Oh, wow. Okay, quite a bit of manual. I mean, don't think automation is required. Just have to run around a little bit. How many water bottles do we have right now? Oh, okay. Well, water filters as well. Yep, graphite, transistors. We probably need another box to put down somewhere as well. So it makes it a little bit easier and quicker for us. Okay, a few resources are here. Transistors. Come on. Let's uh, grab all of you. Did we not have some spare ones over here? Oh, no, we must have used them up already. Nope. Um, hold on a second. Why don't you just drop them somewhere here? And I'll try and grab them. Uh, we are going to need ingots. Okay, I know. We'll place a box over here. Um, we also do need to produce those chips, though, as well. Mm-hmm-hmm-hmm. <laughs> Right, hopefully we don't mess up our factory lines by putting a box in there, but, um, yeah. Okay, grab some of these. Inventory is full. Okay, I guess we can drop off a few things that we're definitely not going to use right now. Factories, beehive, all right, here you go. And grab a few more. Lovely. Take 50. Bit quicker. So these are... Oh, they're almost done. But how many do we need? Yes, the water field is they're pretty quick to produce, fortunately, as well. And we can do the same with the water bottles, meal kits, and... Oh, wow, okay, yeah, we are going to need quite a few water filters. I mean, I guess it's fine if we run out of those computer chips, because technically we have all the meal kits that we need. So that can pause over here. I think that's okay. Yep, we got those in our inventory now. Need a few more water filters. A bit more graphite as well. Okay, there we go. Will that be enough though? Don't think so. But let's have a look. Okay, survival back. We've got our first one. Tons of water bottles. Tons of paste. Okay, so... <laughs> We need 15. Right now, water bottles take one water filter and two based. Okay, so why don't we, or me, run around a little bit, gather all the resources that we need, and then, uh, yeah, we'll jump back once we have everything. Okay, so seems like the final survival pack has been completed, and uh, yeah, it was pretty quick. I just helped myself by uh, putting down a couple of extra factories over here so I could just run around, bring the resources that we need, and uh, yeah, it is now done. We can disconnect you as well, put the, the sort of gravity pipe down. I still don't know why they're called pipes. They're more like conveyor belts than uh, pipes, to be honest, but uh, it's okay. So here we go. Let's um, drop it off over here. That is the final one. Complete mission. Oh wow, is that the... Is that it? Here we go. Survival pack analysis. Contamination is at 0%. All packages approved for human use. Initializing power diversion. We did it. Employee 3128 was the reason the mission was successful. Are you sad about me doing this? Charge level 20%. Sadness and loneliness... Levels are expected to reach an all-time high. However, there is no denying this outcome. Employee 3128 was built to complete this mission. I know. Charge level 40%. But we had fun, didn't we? Analysis determines that fun was indeed achieved. When I'm gone, will you still decorate the place? Employee 3128 still forgets I have no arms or legs. Charge level 60% now, but at least you have a big heart. Did employee 3128 employ the use of a bun in the face of their imminent death? What's a bun? Okay. 80%, there we go. That's what you have to do if you want to get promoted. Never cease to amaze. And the most amazing part about this journey was I got to live so much longer than I was meant to, which meant more time talking to you. Before you go, I wanted to give you something. A promotion? Actually, yes. You've been promoted to best friend. Ah, 
charge level 100%. I always knew we were going to be friends. Take care, best friend. Starting power surge. Oh, wow. Alright, here we go. Oh, that's it. Boost complete. Great job. And, uh, okay. You're dead. What happens now? There we go. And, um, well, it's taken us some time, but, um, pretty happy that we managed to complete this. Oh, okay, we've got some... Uh, some cutscenes over here as well. Alright, here it goes. What is all that? Is that the core of the, the machine? Project Human Incomplete. Initiating a server wipe in. Oh. Okay. Database status all data lost. Alright, can we uh, skip this part? No. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Restoring power in three, two, one. And. Oh. Project human complete. So that's the first human. Well, I mean, after all this apocalypse that happened. And there we go. We have officially completed the series. So. It's been a lot of fun, and I hope uh, I hope to keep uh, keep an eye on the development of this game as well, because I'd love to try it again in the future. I think right now, even though it's very different and it, it, and it was a lot of fun, it just feels like there isn't a lot of like else to do or like replayability in this, and uh, which is you know it, it's not a bad thing. It's uh, it just shows that the um, the game just needs a bit more development. Oh wow, this music is very loud as well. I think it's two different tracks overplaying. And congratulations on beating Adrio the Dark Wild. We'll feel free to continue to work on your base, explore and experiment. As a small indie team, having players like you make it all the way to the end means a lot to us. We hope you enjoy playing the game as much as we enjoyed making it. Thanks for playing, Stephen, Kyle and Francois. Uh, absolutely, yeah. It's, it's been a lot of fun, as I've said before as well. It's very interesting. I just hope it gets a bit more content in the future and uh, hopefully to increase the replayability as well. But in the meanwhile, it's been a lot of fun again playing this game. So um, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it too. And uh, we'll see you in the next game.